good morning student so today uh, as we are discussing about the communication skill in this particular communication skill what we can find that how we are communicating with each other okay so in this communication skill there is one point that i uh, need to discuss uh, i find it uh, it is uh, also written in uh, the cbsc or ncrt book and it is one of the uh, important part that we find that when you write your answer that time you can quote it and you can uh, make your answer uh, very much presentable okay that is an assertiveness so what is this particular assertiveness means so you have learned about the different types of communications are there okay different patterns of communication how the communication is working all those different type of communications are there so all this communication what we find it that each and every communication what we are using what we are finding so each and every communication we find that uh, there are the different type of concept we do have okay different pattern of concept we do have so when we are having all these different type of concept that means uh, <coughs> we say them that those the concept what we have that is a communication style now here style means what style means uh, that uh, the different type of verbal and the non-verbal communication skill that you are including when you are working with it okay so there are some correction there are some uh, correction type of communications are there which make the communication much more effective okay so with uh, the ability of this uh, particular type of data with this ability of a particular pattern of the data we can find that when we are working with the data uh, we are getting the different types of data and we are making the different uh, type of presentations isn't it so style that what we are using the verbal skill and our non-verbal skill that we are using there there we find it that each and every verbal skill and non-verbal skill when we are communicating when we are making their communication this particular pattern of communication that we are using the effective uh, different effective ways of communication that we are using we want uh, to clearly uh, say it we want to clearly say these things that uh, what is our response uh, regarding to this matter okay so what we understand uh, that what we say and uh, what the response you are getting in a better way that means in this uh, particular thing uh, we are saying that we are very much assertive regarding to this manner okay we want to make the communication system very much effective we want to make it very much catchy we want to make the communication system so that uh, we can work on it and we can find the peoples who are there listening the peoples who are there working on it those each and every people they will going to work on this particular area or on this particular sector so each and every people what we find that they are going to work on this particular area and a particular sector that means uh, we are uh, going to do the work and we find it that each and every work that we find each and every part of the work that we find that we can impose and we can make it effective in a various way or various manner so those the thing which we can make effective in a various way or various manners what we find that that is uh, what is our responsibility that means the best way uh, that uh, we can we can make the thing and we can work with the thing isn't it so best way that we can work with the particular area best way that we can uh, discuss the particular matter each and every matter what we find each and every part uh, that we find that uh, they are going to have their different types of presentations so all these different pattern of presentation what we find in this different pattern of uh, presentations that we are using we find it how much effective those presentations are okay how much effectively we can work on it clear so this is the particular uh, thing this is the particular part uh, that we can make to it and uh, we can work on it okay so as we find it that we are having those different pattern of structures that means we are making the communication very much assertive we are making the structures very much effective on it 
clear so as we find the structures are very much effective the structures is working what we find is the importance of the communication styles there are the different pattern of communication styles are there we wonder to feel that uh, when we converse with some person when we find that we are conversing with uh, uh, different pattern of persons we are uh, saying that what is the feeling we do have isn't it so all those different pattern of feeling that we are having that we are expressing that each and every feeling that we find it each and every part that we find it that we are uh, having those different pattern of feelings and we are sharing those different types of feelings okay so as we share those different patterns of feelings so each and every feeling how we find the thing is workable clear so uh, see here uh, there is a different type of uh, expression has been given this is an aggressiveness this is a, a passive or submissive this is what uh, passive and aggressive this is one assertives so what we find it uh, that uh, winning at any cost that means uh, what does this particular uh, you know, person want to means that uh, person wants to win at any cost no uh, what respective uh, will be done to the other respect okay so here what we find it uh, that uh, it will avoid the uh, conflict the person is trying to avoid the conflict uh, giving uh, other to control and uh, losing the self uh, determination or self respect and this is what trying to get their own way uh, without uh, talking uh, about the responsibilities hunting yourself for the others okay and hurting yourself for the others and what we find it there is a respective uh, with an other maintaining the self-respect so these are the things what we can see these are the things what we can find it that when we are working on this particular area there are the different pattern of work that we can find that we are working on this and we are getting to this so uh, examples what we find for this particular area that uh, no uh, caring about the other views that means uh, very aggressive aggressive means you will not going to care about any other views okay what the other person is thinking what the other person is uh, has the requirement so uh, that the thing that uh, particular thing uh, is not there so dismissing uh, and ignoring uh, and insulting uh, the other people and shouting uh, using a strong language and not listening to the other so all these thing what we find that there is the different pattern of uh, aggressiveness we can find but passive and submissive what we can find the person is quiet and not expressing uh, the person by himself or yourself expecting even uh, the wrong remarks from the other and saying uh, sorry even uh, the person hasn't done any mistake okay passive and aggressive what we find it that indirect way uh, it is showing the anger such a uh, not uh, doing the task and uh, laying about uh, then what we can find uh, reusement uh, then we can find talking uh, about the illness about other and uh, their absence okay when some person is not there in absence of those persons talking about bad uh, words bad things uh, in giving a bad uh, um, setup okay creating a bad language uh, for a other person and uh, creating uh, a, a different type of bad impact and trying to build up a bad impact for the person and assertive means what uh, expressing uh, yourself that means uh, it will going to express uh, that particular person by himself and listening to the other points understand the other points of view try to understand the other points of view what is the other person point of view and how uh, it is fine that particular person will going to uh, work and how the particular person will going to have their what is their problem all this view and uh, disagreement saying no without hurting to the others okay so this is what we can find this is the part what we can find that we have those four patterns of the people uh, work those particular four patterns of the people work and each of this particular pattern of the people work that we find that uh, each and every people uh, there are what as a result what we find it in the first case we find it that uh, there is an anger breakdown communications etc etc next one what we can find it that there is a, a heart um, feeling or losing the confidence okay miss uh, instruction or misguiding and then uh, what we find 
not getting the perfect result okay for the bad communications uh, uh, bad feeling for everyone and um, it is uh, what we find uh, it is an effective uh, the communication is very effective and the people can understand uh, what um, he, the person want to say and there is uh, totally what a communication uh, among them and they can make a success everywhere so this is what we can find that means uh, in in this case in this particular uh, area we can find that person when the person is discussing that particular person will going to make the structures in such a way and in such a uh, arena in that particular arena we can find it that it will going to have a uh, structures and it will going to make the structures in this way okay so we can find it uh, that there are the different types of what different patterns of what uh, different types of the uh, expressions that we find that we do have with the peoples isn't it so all those different types of expressions that we find that we do have with the peoples we find it that all those expressions what we have all those expression what we find that each and every expression what is there each and ex every expression what we find that we are uh, going to have that particular structures of what structures of the people and uh, people are getting uh, that particular patterns of what patterns of the effect based on the work what they are doing so this is what we can find this is what we can see that when we are making uh, those particular thing when we are working on this particular area so each and every area we have to be very much workable we have to find out that how we can make the thing uh, very much successful and how we can make the thing very much positive that means uh, those are the different types of uh, feeling those are different patterns of feelings that we have those are the different uh, types of expression that we have each and expression uh, should be in such a way or in such a manner that we find that all this particular expression what is there all this particular pattern of expression what is there we will going to have this particular expression and uh, we are controlling uh, those different types of expression so as we are controlling those different patterns of expression different types of expression that means for each of this particular expression that we find that each and every pattern of expression that we can see uh, we can make those expression and we can work on this particular expressive manners isn't it so this is how this is uh, the things that we can see that uh, we must be very much careful about the way of communication about the way of our uh feelings about the way of how we are saying the things about the way how we are presenting the things isn't it so all this particular part all these particular sections that we are working with all this particular part that we can find we are working with they are working in a very effective manner and they are working in such a way that we can find it that uh, the thing will make uh, to give a different type of uh, implementable uh, work and those the work will be accepted or not accepted by the person that to be decided decided on the different manner that the person will going to have isn't it so as we find that we are having all this particular pattern of structures uh, so those particular pattern of structures as we are making it as we are working on it we will going to have those structures and we have to work on this particular pattern of the structures that is there so <coughs> now you can see that assertive communications means the most effective communication so from here what we can derive is that the assertive communication means a uh, most effective patterns of communication that we do have isn't it so these are the effective patterns of communication what we find this is the effective patterns of communication that we are working with we make the communication very much effective we make the communication very much workable then only we can say it is an assertive communication so assertive communications is an healthier communication it is not that that will going to make a lot of distractions uh, it will not that it will going to make a uh, lot of uh, chaos it will going to make a different uh, pattern of distortions isn't it so all this thing what we find all this particular pattern what we find that we will going to have uh, those particular pattern of the structures and those particular pattern of work that we are uh, 
working on and that we are giving it so that means it should be very much healthy and it should be work in that party uh, particular healthiest atmosphere okay so in an healthiest atmosphere the work to be done so uh, this is the particular work what we find this is the particular work that we see that in each of this particular work when we are working with when we are finding them we find it those uh, expression manners those expression type of the work that we are giving to it it should be what viewed it should be uh, done in a very much proper way so as we are uh, doing it in the very much uh, proper way we find it uh, those the uh, particular expression that we are finding it and we are working on it and uh, those the expression that we are uh, giving to it isn't it so communications that what we are creating communication that where we are finding communicating your options to wish uh, the particular thing very much clearly so clearly we need to see we need to find it uh, that particular points and uh, when we find that particular point is there that means we can see it that how the particular structures of the communication can be workable how we can make the particular uh, work to be done isn't it so those the work what we see those the part of the work that we find so each and every part of the work that we find that it will going to have the structures and it will going to make the structures in a certain way or in the certain phase where we need to keep the balance balance with a different sections of our words different sections uh, that we are talking with so we can find there are the different advantages is there what is the first advantage we can find it advantage of assertive communication first and foremost we have a self-confidence next what we can find to build the self-respect next what we can find that you uh, say the words or are doing the actions what we find it that regrets uh, later should be there you make uh, yourself uh, in a positive uh, form isn't it as you are making yourself in a positive form what you find it you will work in a positive way okay so this uh, what we can find that everyone wants to express their idea as we find that everyone wants to express their idea those the different idea what we find those the different idea what we can see that each and every uh, expression of it each and every expression of this part will going to work and will going to make uh, the work in such a way on in such a uh, manner that we find that it will going to make this particular uh, thing what effective okay it will going to make the thing effective and we can work on it so this is what the uh, communication system is and we can work on this particular communication so seven actions that we should take for the assertive communication first we should be confident confidence means we should work uh, very smartly uh, we should talk very uh, smartly we should uh, take the attendance that means we should show the confidence uh, what uh, about the sitting talking uh, in a very uh, smooth uh, uh, way okay keeping uh, the shoulders straight and chin up practicing maintaining the eye contact okay so uh, control the signals of the physical nervousness biting such as biting nails etc etc all these things next what we can find the uh, speak uh, slowly and clearly it is not required that you should speak very fast or you um, what you are saying uh, that is very uh, loud and it cannot be understandable you should uh, talk very softly very uh, coolly uh, in an assertive way stay very calm and uh, slowly you will going to find that particular work is been done so your clean and calm voice your uh, enough uh, voice to hurt uh, everyone uh, the people uh, you are uh, noticing uh, that uh, excuse me all this thing you will going to do you will apologize uh, those particular thing and making uh, the short uh, correction of the speech so all these thing what we find that you can do and you can make it out okay dressing obviously your dress uh, should be very uh, proper uh, in a proper area you should uh, do the judgment of the area and you should dress there smartly neatly and cleanly according to the place and occasion where you are going that means uh, that will going to show your confidence level that you know what you are doing and where you are going okay you should not uh, listen um, the things which will going to uh, make uh, 
or give you a uh, different pattern of wrong concepts uh, suppose wearing a wrong dress in a wrong area or uh, those the dress which is not suitable which we cannot find the thing is not acceptable by the people we should not wear those pattern of dresses isn't it be honest you should be always honest you should be always very much truthful isn't it so you should be always honest and truthful about the matter that we are finding and we are working on it okay so honesty is required next what uh, don't be aggressive you don't should not show your anger shout uh, bad uh, talks bad uh, language all these things uh, so you should uh, don't confuse uh, the people and uh, don't make an aggressiveness you should don't show the unfair uh, situations don't create an unfair situations be very calm and understandable in a real practical life what is there isn't it speaking you should speak up um, or to everyone with a very good manner with a very good way isn't it so that should be there so tips that you should be silence uh, you should share your feelings and you should listen other feeling also and uh, learn to say no if you don't uh, feel the thing is right okay and by unwillingly you are doing that suppose your friends say let's go and do this you know that you are doing a wrong thing but you cannot say um, no to the person no that is not you should uh, say respectfully you should say uh, uh, that particular person uh, no that i am not going to do this work or this is bad i'll uh, not going with you you all do this is an incorrect word so you should know what is good and what is bad okay so thank you students today i am ending my this session here uh, thank you all